How you doing everyone? It's 40 Caliber 101. Um, I am bringing you another video. Uh, this here is actually a requested video uh, from one of the viewers, or my viewers. Um, I got a video, I mean, uh, I mean a comment correction, um, just recently on my Remington Easy Squeegee Cleaning Kit, and uh, he wanted, they wanted to know uh, how to properly use it on my Remington 700. So I am bringing a video on my cleaning kit um, and how to properly use it. First and foremost, we're going to do a safety check. Um, I already had pulled the bolt out. The magazine is out, but if it is on safe, we're going to visually check down the barrel, physically and visually, uh, nothing in the magazine well, as well as nothing in the chamber. So we are going to uh, get started. So first off, I have my easy squeegee cleaning kit here um, from Remington. I'm going to lay the mat out, of course, but you open up the front facing pouch uh, and it folds out this mat. This mat. So uh, we're going to lay our magazine as well as our bolt there um, and we're going to get to those last. Now, on the other side here, we're going to move the rifle out of the way. Uh, we have two other compartments like I showed in the video. This side over here, which is the right side, um, has the uh, uh, or cleaning kit, um, as well as the oil, or, or cleaning solvent, should I say, and the oil, as well as a rag, which is really used, by the way. Uh, and on the other side over here, we have all of your wire brushes, as well as uh, rods, not rods, uh, correction, pull strings, as well as your connectors. For the pull strings. All right, there are two things we're going to be using today. Um, we're going to use the rifle string as well as this cleaning brush here and then we're going to use this uh, pull handle. Now from our front compartment we're going to use two things as well. You're going to search over here and you're going to look for the 30 caliber uh, squeegee as well as look around for the 30 caliber uh, pore cleaning brush. Now, the proper way you're supposed to use this with the cleaning brush is you take the rifle, uh, which we are going to find a back for for, if you hold on real quick. We're going to have our Caldwell rest, uh, bag rest. Now we're going to use the actual front portion for the barrel, for the back, all right, to give it kind of a an angle, if you would. Um, now, for me to be able to do this, I'm actually going to move everything around so I can be access to my bag, uh, so I can actually use the equipment properly. So we're going to move everything around here, get the rifle out of the way. Uh, turn the bag around a little bit, and then we're going to place the caudal bag here. Now, what I would actually rather use, I do have another clean tin here. Um, this one here is just your regular standard cleaning kit, uh, has rods. I prefer the rod method with the wire brush than the string method. The string method is you would take your pulley, uh, you would actually unravel your your cord like so. You would connect our pull. Yeah, you would correction. You would put the cord through the barrel. You would connect the cord to your pulley, make sure it's snug, and then you would actually screw this onto the tip, the brush onto the tip. You would take your oil, lightly coat it as well as your bore clean solvent and lightly coat it. And then you would simply just pull this through multiple times. Okay, that's how you would properly use this. I think that takes too long and I would rather use the push rods. Now, I do not have a single push rod due to the fact because I keep both cleaning kits with me and my mini kit, uh, my Santa clean kit inside my bag. So we are going to use the push rods. You don't have to use it this way. You can use that cable if you want. I just think this way is a lot, a lot easier and it takes up uh, less time. So, first and foremost, we're going to 
get all my rods here attached. All right, this is the only bad part about having multiple rods. But the thing is, you can use it for multiple things. Uh, pistols, rifles, shotguns, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, we're going to attach everything. Now, this rifle hasn't been shot in a while, um, but it has been in storage, so it, it's actually due for a cleaning. So, uh, it might not be as dirty, but it will still be pretty dirty. All right, make sure everything is tightened down, of course, with the fish rods. Now, first thing I like to do is I like to take this Remington oil, okay? And I like to pour a little bit on it, the brush, like so. All right, and I just rub it over in a rotating motion. Make sure to get pretty good little amount on it. And then, along with that, I like to take this board cleaner, all right? You can do this last or you can do it with it. It really doesn't matter. I like working it as a pair because then it cleans it and also gets in the ground up at the same time. So that's all you need is one little strip for that cleaner. Uh, after that, you're going to take, and for me, which I forgot to do, because I have an adjustable stock, um, I'm actually going to lower my uh, cheek pad down, which I have to. Um, it's good to, if you have an adjustable stock like this Archangel, to remember exactly how many clicks you go down to the bottom from the top where you have it set, all the way down to the bottom and clean. Uh, mine on this particular stock is actually 25 clicks. Uh, I've done it so many times, I don't have to count anymore, and I know exactly, and it's all the way to the bottom. So I know now 25 clicks back up will be exactly where I need for my check. Now I'm gonna slightly uh, set this into the barrel. I heard a lot of people say, you know, the brush needs to only go one way. That's not true. I've done this to all my rifles, and I continue to do it to all my rifles. I get in there, and I scrub, and I scrub, and I scrub until everything is broken up. Um, the only thing I would recommend is if you say you have a threaded barrel, I would recommend you get a thread protector so you don't mess up the crown at the end, uh, because this will sooner or later kind of mess up your crown if you have a suppressor. This rifle does not have a suppressor on it, so that's good. Another thing you would rather get is a bottle, uh, just a regular Coke bottle. Um, take it to the top on and cut a hole on the top, and then stick it on the end so it catches all the salt. And last but not least, of course, keep that handy. Now, why, once again, all you have to do is really push. This is going to be actually really easy for me since because I have actually already recently cleaned my rifle. So you're just going to get in and you're going to clean it. Now, the reason I keep the rifle angled with this reason is so the fact that the solvent and stuff doesn't get back into my action. That will be a bad thing. All right, I'm gonna continue to push and continue to push and do this for a little bit. Not too much, you know, for, for about at least, you know, 20, 30 pools or so, if that. Mostly 20. Uh, really depending on how much you shoot, that's the truth. Uh, and this is about good. All right, now that I have broken up all that stuff, this is the easy part, all right? You're going to take your barrel, your string, all right? You're going to feed the rod, uh, the line down the barrel, all right? The easiest way is through the action, of course, all right, through the, uh, the bolt, uh, through the extraction point. You're just going to feed it down. The end will come out looking like this. All right, it will be a little tiny spot. Perfect enough for you to put your clip on. Okay? If you can get the clip on, get it clamped down tight. Make sure it clamps, you have to hear it click. Alright, so it doesn't come out. There you go. You hear the click and you know it's tight. Then next you take your squeegee and you just thread it in. Now some squeegee kits come different. This in here actually has a uh, part where they did not clip off the edge. Um, it will come off sooner or later, but you just tighten it down until it's tight. And you slowly guide it into where the barrel meets. And you'll feel a little tug. Now that tug is good because it means it's tight. That means you're going to be able to get everything out. Now, from here, it's easy. You just take your grip and you pull. But because I'm in front of the camera, you know, I'm just going to around my hand and you can hear where it's squeaking.
That's where it's getting squeaky clean. And I lied. This has a lot of gunk in it. I must not have cleaned this as good as I thought I did last time, or I didn't clean it at all. But that is what it looks like. All right, after you break it up with the combination. As a matter of fact, I did not clean the last time I went shooting. I remember that now. Now I got lazy. So, then you're going to take your rag, the most important part, and you're just going to clean it off. They tell you you only have to go through this one time. I don't listen to companies because some companies, you know, they not very truthful or, you know, it just relax it really recommends how much you shoot, how much salt you put on. But this I recommend, you know, you really don't have to put through one time. But just because I'm going to show you uh, how clean it really gets, I'm going to go through it a second time with a pull cord to show you it really does get a squeaky clean. Now you've seen how black it was the first time, how much gunk there was. There should not be that much coming out this time. So you pull it in until it's nice and tight. Get the clip on. Make sure it's snug. I'll wrap it on my hand a couple times. And now, no squeakiness because it's not pulling anything. And that's what I mean it is bone dry. There you go. That is good. This takes a lot more, uh, does not take as much time as if you're using cleaning strips. As you see, I didn't take that much time at all through the barrel, and it is practically clean. Now the next thing you're going to do, of course, is you're going to clean your bolt. You don't have to clean your bolt, we're going to get this rifle out of the way. You do not have to clean your bolt uh, at all. It, you know, it doesn't really get that dirty. I practically clean it pretty much any time. I clean my rifle. Uh, I just feel safer that way. Now, getting this from into 700 bolt disassembled, you need a special tool. And by special tool, I mean 550 cord or a boot lace. I found a 550 cord method worked really well. There's these two notches right here for the uh, for the hammer or correction for the firing pin. You're gonna stick it in the uh, in the middle between the two notches. You can either put it on your arm like so, and you can pull, and then you're just going to rotate, all right? You're going to rotate until you get it off. Or, if that doesn't work, which it is not, I'm going to stick it on something like a doorknob, but for right now, I'm actually going to stick it on the end of this table, and then I'm just going to pull, and I'm going to rotate it off of the housing. So it should be one, two, three, three turn, four turns, correction, until it is loose enough to where you can just screw it off. Now, as you see, my firing pin is not dirty, uh, but I do like to take a rag and I like to wipe it off. Now they have this thing, it's called shooter's grease, all right? Uh, it is made for firing pins and threads. You can use that. This Remington oil, good for everything. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I wouldn't put oil in there. I do it to all my rifles, uh, never had any problem. I don't go overboard with it. I just put a slight bit through the threads, all right, and then on the spring. That's it, just on the spring, all right? And then I take my rag and I rub it in make it nice and clean so it doesn't rust. From there, I also take this oil and you can tell where the wear spots are on a rifle. That's the parts where you need to clean. You need to clean it on the locking uh, bolt, all right? On every angle, on every corner. All right, put oil on it. It doesn't hurt it, all right? And then you're gonna stick it wherever you see where. I have a little strip right here and I'm gonna stick it down there. From there, I'm going to take once again this rag and I'm just going to rub it in. It keeps it nice and shiny and clean. It's a good thing. And that's the bolt. You can get up inside the bolt if you want. You get, you know, uh, Q-tips or whatever. Uh, recommend, remember, you know, those things can get stuck and those Q-tips do fall apart. 
So if you're going to clean this, make sure you have a way of getting that stuff out in case it does. You have to get a pick or something there. And now after you do that, you're just going to rotate it until you hear that first click. And then you're going to go back to the pull method with your special tool on putting it back. All right. And what did I say it was? Four, right? So that's one, two, three, four turns, and then you go back half a turn to that little notch. You have two notches, the firing notch, and then you have the cocking notch. This notch right here, the one where it's cocked, is where you want to put it. If you have it in this fire notch, the bolt will not go in the rifle. Remember that. So have it on that last little notch closest to the bull handle, right where it locks down, you want it on that tiny notch, so you can put the bull back in the rifle, alright, and it goes in smooth. Now, this year will be the time where you can take a little bit of your oil, so oil works for everything, on the tip of your rag or something, not too much, and you just, you know, get the spots where it looks dirty, and it needs to shine, to shine up, you know, I recommend on the cheek rest, down the barrel side itself, where the barrel goes, inside this portion right here where it feeds out, around the safety, and inside the mag well. Alright, those are your most important parts. Alright? And after all that being said and done, there is nobody around, there is nothing around me that, you know, uh, will be damaged within this process but we are going to function check. Now I'm going to take the rifle, let me actually take it and adjust it back. Twenty-five, open up the scope caps, and perfect, twenty-five clips. Okay. Now, we are going to safety check this, all right, function check it. What I mean by function check is we're going to take it off the fire, we're going to lock it back, down, and we're going to pull the trigger. And it works. All right. The rifle is functional, the rifle is clean. Last but not least, we're going to take this brush. Once again, we're going to get into small spots this time, though. And this is really all it lasts. So you're going to take and you get in little tiny spots where there is dust that you cannot get your finger into, like behind the trigger and whatnot. All right, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, the rifle is clean. All right, so now that you saw how we use the squeegee kit to properly clean a rifle, please, you know, use these techniques if you want to get one of these. I really highly recommend it. It is better than using a regular cleaning kit. Have more variety and it comes with all the solvents and it's good for everything from a 22 to a 12 gauge shotgun. Um, I have a video on it, of course, if you want to watch it. Uh, it will be in my videos, so please feel free to watch it. Um, if you like what you saw, please like the video. Share the video if you want. Uh, Leave comments and concerns. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please. If you do leave comments, I please ask you to be professional. Um, other people do watch my videos, uh, like little kids and everything. So, uh, pretty much anybody who is interested in watching these types of videos. So, if you can, please be professional, like I say. But after you see here, if you like what you saw, and you do recommend, I do recommend, said, I do recommend you one of these squeaky kids. Uh, but please take it into consideration how, you know, cleaning the rifle, um, how I showed you, and put it into play and see how you like it. And I guarantee you're going to like it. So if you can, like I said, be professional if you need to leave in the comments and please subscribe to my videos. Once again, this is 40 Cowboy 1, signing off.